Okay, so here we go. Uh, this is a nice guided meditation. And the guided meditation I'm going to do this afternoon uh, is one thing which I experimented with in Singapore many years ago. Uh, it was close to Waisak, and uh, they wanted me to teach these young people. And the young people, I didn't realize at the time, were four and five year olds. <laughs> That's really young. But then I did this guided meditation for them, and it really worked. And especially for the parents and the teachers who were in the room at the same time. So, this is the meditation I'm going to guide you with today, a guided Buddha meditation. So if you'd like to get yourselves comfortable again in your meditation posture, and just we'll spend a few minutes just making sure that we are comfortable. So making sure that your legs are as relaxed as possible. That your butt is well positioned on the seat. And if you do have a sore back, just feel the back and give it this beautiful kindness. Back, we've got to work together. So is there anything you want me to do back to make you more comfortable, please let me know. I often speak to parts of my body as a way of arousing mindfulness to those parts of the body. So I can feel the body. And I ask it, what do you think I need to do? Sometimes I slump my body. That's okay as long as you can keep aware. It's just what my mind and my body tell me to do. Other times, like today, it wants me to be uh, really quite erect. I like to stretch my body. And I listen to what my body wants, not what I think it needs. This is the basic method of mindfulness and kindness. You're aware and you're kind enough to listen to what your body says. Sometimes I was kind of taught by others that I should know better, I should train my body. But over all those years, I realized my body knows much better than I do how to keep it healthy. I listen to it and follow its advice. So I've got a nice straight back now. And now I just make sure my hands and arms are in a good position. Just to get them nicely positioned before I start. And then my head on top of my neck. Be careful if you do have neck and shoulder pain. Sometimes it must be some tightness or tension there somewhere. So learn how just to relax your shoulders. Sometimes I imagine that my shoulder muscles are being pulled apart by these invisible monsters in my body. Just a way of looking. There are no monsters in my body, but they're being pulled apart. And then I imagine telling those little monsters, let go. And I imagine the sun was being stretched on both ends, it's released. And the shoulder muscles become loose. So I said, like a guitar string, which has been stretched. Now it's <laughs> loosened up, so there's no tension on it at all. I do that as best I can. The same around my neck. If there's any tightness or tension there. I see. what can I do to relieve that tension? And sometimes I just ask my neck, what do you want me to do? Is there anything I can do? Just caring for something 
helps heal the pain. But sometimes I don't demand it works. Because sometimes it takes time. Many, many meditations before that kindness onto your body can heal all tightnesses and tensions which have been going on for a long time. And these days my body is pretty peaceful when I meditate. I train my body, not with force, but with mindfulness and kindness. And then the same with my mindfulness of the muscles around the eyes and the mouth, especially and around the eyes. I just feel and see what I can do to relax those muscles. I don't screw those eyes down tight. I don't let them be open. And this wonderful middle way where the eyes are shut, but not screwed down tight. And all those muscles there, if they're still a little bit hurting or painful, I give them loving kindness. Dear little eye muscles, please relax and have a wonderful time. I speak softly to them. So they know, don't have any fear. Around the muscles around the mouth as well. The muscles around the mouth I can relax by putting a little smile on the face. And that smile on the face also gives me a sense of energy and engagement in the meditation which is about to begin. And then once I'm in a good position, a good posture, I often then look at the whole body, whole body sitting here in a good position. I still have time if I want to adjust anything, I will. But I give this kindness over the whole body. You're my friend, body. Know that sometimes you have aches and pains and illnesses. But I care for you, my own body. And I'm serious about that. When I care for my body that way, like my body relaxes. Like it's saying thank you to me for looking after me. And I know my body is ready to go into the deeper meditations. But today, I'm going to do the guided meditation on the Buddha. Many of you know the story of the Buddha. He was sitting under a Bodhi tree, a beautiful fig tree, in this park next to the river Niranjana in India. In those days, there would be hardly any people there. He'd had a very good meal that morning, given by this lady Sujata. It was actually food, which was meant for a heavenly being. Just like the food I get here every day, delicious. It was under the shade of a beautiful tree in a quiet park. Maybe the only thing he could hear was the sound of the river as it flowed past what has now become known as Bald Gaia. And he had a, a comfortable seat under him of grass so that his butt could be as comfortable as possible. Well fed, no responsibilities, just to cross his legs and to be peaceful. And when the Buddha came out of that meditation, imagine what he felt. 
See if you can visualize what an enlightened being feels. When I was a kid at school, I still remember the teachers saying, imagine you're a tree. And I put my arms out and sway in the wind. Just pretend. Pretend you're the Buddha now. You're sitting under the Bodhi tree. You close your eyes. You can imagine it could be real. You don't need anything more in the whole world. There's no more business to be done. There's no more problems with any member of your family. You don't have a family anymore. You're an enlightened one, free. No sicknesses, no pain. And if you look to the future, there's nothing more for you to do. Done is what had to be done. There is no more striving for you. There's no more concerns. You know there will always be food for you. Always be a place to rest. There's nothing you ever need ever again. You're just sitting there, enjoying the wind blowing past your body, cooling. The only noise may be the rustle of the leaves, not the trees shading you. And there's a great joy of freedom, freedom from duties, there's nothing more on your to-do lists. It's all done. There's nothing more to be afraid of. All fear is dissolved. All anxiety vanished. It can't arise again. The mind is at peace, liberated, free. You're just sitting here, enjoying this moment. You are enlightened one. You're well fed, nothing to do. No jobs for you to perform in the future. It's like you're retired, but really retired, fully retired. And you got free to spend all the compassion in the whole world for all beings, because there's nothing left for you to improve on yourself, on your non-self. You no need to seek for wisdom anymore. All the wisdom is right in front of you in this moment. You don't need to argue. The truth is as clear as the air coming into your lungs. Just breathe in truth and wisdom. Breathe out kindness. You're shaded. It's like the whole universe will protect you now. Nothing can harm you. All those problems in the life which you deal with after retreats, all those problems have vanished, disappeared. There's no problems left. You'll be go out afterwards and help and serve and teach. But if you succeed or don't succeed, it's the same. There's no desire left. The craving which stretched and tired you is no longer there. You just naturally are kind without anything being forced. 
whatever happens from this moment on, you're 100% at peace with. Nothing is missing anymore. Nothing more to do. You have disappeared. And there's only just the warmth of the sun and the wind and the body just sitting here so peacefully. Whatever was done in the past, now it doesn't matter anymore. The past has taught you so much good lessons, painful lessons. But now it's not to be feared. It's not to be solved. It's not to be frightened of. And the right and one has let go of the past. I mean, really mean let go. It's like it's somebody else's, it's not yours. So all those things which burdened you and tied you down, all vanished. You are free, liberated. You're like a speck of dust blowing in the wind. You don't know where it came from, you don't know where it's going to. It doesn't matter. And you know the end of the life. You will all vanish totally. You will disappear. There's nothing left to worry about. So all the things which weigh a human being down, which stops you dancing through life, all those weights from the past, worries of the future, feelings if you've done something wrong, you're not perfect, all that is just all blown away, washed away. You're just at peace. And you know that's a peace which cannot be disturbed. You're free. Many people retire, but they've still got so many responsibilities and duties. They're not really free. But you, you're an enlightened being, free of all jobs and responsibilities. You don't have to think about anything. There's nothing to think about. All the purpose of thinking has been completed. All the goals of striving have been reached. You're content. And just who you are will bring immense contentment to other beings. You don't have to do anything. Just who you are, one who's released, free, is enough. How does that feel to imagine that you are enlightened? You no need to philosophize about it, but just feel it as best you can imagine it as an experience. All wanting, all desire, quieten down, vanish, disappeared. When you're just sentient, with no burdens or duties ever to do ever again. You're at peace. How does that feel? You don't have to do anything. Like when we meditate, I've got to watch the breath, I've got to be mindful, I've got to do this, I've got to do this. There's no got to do this anymore. You're finished. It's all done. You can relax. 
just be aware and kind. How does that feel? There's a word for it in the suttas, a taste of enlightenment. You feel what this freedom can be. And that sense of freedom, the peace of completing all tasks forever, gives you this wonderful sense of experiential liberation. And from that point, just carry on meditating. Enjoy it as long as you can. Remember, you're enlightened already. Pretend. See what it's like. So don't do anything. Any difficulty or pain in the world. That's where people learn. There was love to stop people being stressed out. And sometimes kindness allows them to be. But they learn the causes and never do it again. You're a Buddha. A wise one. Just being peaceful is one of the greatest gifts you can give to all sentient beings. As you are meditating, you're not trying to get anywhere or get rid of anything. You're just totally at peace with this moment. This moment is. You open the door of your heart to it. Not going anywhere. Not doing anything, not improving, just being aware and kind.
You don't even need to judge this moment. We'll remember it later. Don't disturb the peace.
getting close to the end of this period of meditation. How do you feel? How peaceful is this? How free is your body? Very slowly come out from inside your body and open the eyes to come back into this world, if you will. You do not need to if you want to carry on meditating this food. This guided meditation session is now concluded. I hope that works for you. When I do, I have a lovely time. So easy. Anyway. Okay, the Sutra class will begin in another 10 or 15 minutes. Well, oh, oh, yeah, another 12 minutes. I'll turn off the sound. And see you all later.